I want to live where the stories are. I don't want to live in a world without stories. I want to make people feel. I want to make people dream. I want them to smile, to chuckle. I want them to feel overwhelmed, just as I feel after watching The Lion King. Can you imagine a world without stories? People don't talk about them and their lives. There is no inspiration. It's so dark and gloomy. It's pointless and mechanical. It lacks warmth and it's so dull. I can't live in a world without stories. Don't you want to know how that cute couple met each other? Maybe they met in a restaurant or a museum or maybe a dating app. Who knows? I want to know. <laughs> Do you not want to know the story about the young boy who once had nothing but created an entire empire? Do you want to know the story of the young girl who sat by her bedroom window and imagined stories? Oh, boy, all the stories. There's so much to tell. There's heartbreak, there's success, and there's overcoming one's loneliness. There are soulmates, and there's someone who betrays. But all the stories that we learn from, don't you want to know? Oh, how far we've come. I can't live in a world without stories. Without glory. Without shame. Without limitless rounds of leaps and bounds, world lines. Beginnings and ends of sink and swim and run and jump of stay. Of misbehave, of endless grace, of learn from the mistakes that make us. Of tailored testaments of our youth, of proof that we live in harmony. With every single solitary noun and verb, with words. That sentence our pages and chapter the ages of our truth. Stories that tell of me and you. With words to sentence our vengeance, not for harm or to maim, but to regain, retain, reframe narratives that distort our long held, forever known images of our true selves that can't be contained. Tell your stories. Every single letter counts to infinity. In that final period lies you, lies your divinity. We're constantly reminded how we don't matter. It's a big, big world and you're just a tiny, tiny part of it. But I believe in you. I believe that you have a story to tell that can change someone's life. I believe that your story matters. Forget what they say. Don't mind. After all, it's only your stories that you leave behind. Hello everyone, I hope you guys liked the very first episode of season 2. It's only going to get more raw, more real and more relatable from here. Wasn't that a beautiful collaboration? I'm sure that you guys are curious about the new artists who were featured. Well. Two very different paths led to very different people to the same place. The land of opportunity, Los Angeles. Although they did it different, one dropping out of college and working an unfulfilled job, the other graduating and working in an unfulfilled career. Their journeys led them through similar situations, obstacles and victories. Their life experiences and truths fueled the content of their storytelling. College brought them together and pursuing their passions in life keep them together. Bosco, the passion-driven prose, and Keo, the purpose-driven poet, make up the drama comedy that is Griot. Check out their Instagram page given in the description to know more.